Time for more physics. Today we're going to talk about forces. And we're going to talk about something called the net force. Okay, before we move on, we need to review some terms that we've heard before. First of all, in Newton's first law, which says an object at rest stays at rest, and an object in motion stays in motion with the same speed and in the same direction unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. So let's review what balanced and unbalanced forces are. If you remember, if I have a book on a table, I have two forces. One is a force which is directed downwards, and that's the gravitational force, pulling the book down. And I also have a contact or support force of the table supporting upwards, which we call the normal force. Now these two forces we are drawing equal in magnitude because the book is not going up and down. So we would say in this situation that the forces on the book are balanced. And according to Newton's first law, if there is no unbalanced force acting on the book, because the forces on the book are balanced, the book will maintain its state of motion, which right now is at rest. Another term that we would use when the two forces are of equal magnitude and in opposite direction is not only the forces are balanced, but we say that the book also is in equilibrium. Now let's look at this situation where, let's say we have a book sliding on this table from left to right. There is friction on the table and at some point in the past somebody slid this book on the table so right now it's moving to the right and the only force that's acting along the table is the force of friction to the left. So notice that in this case along the table the forces on the book are not balanced. Friction is the only thing acting in a position, in a direction vertical to the table, the forces are balanced. The normal force is balancing out the force of gravity, so the book's state of motion is not changing vertically. But because friction is acting to the left, even though the book is moving to the right, the forces horizontally are not balanced. So that means the state of motion of this book is going to change, and in fact, what's going to happen is the velocity of the book is going to decrease. The book is going to slow down. We would also say that this book is not at equilibrium. And like we've learned before, if there is an unbalanced force acting, which in this case is friction, unbalanced forces cause an acceleration. In this case, it's going to be a deceleration, and the book will slow down. Okay, we're going to look at three situations here, and in all three situations we're going to ask the question, is there an unbalanced force acting? So first of all, let's look at this situation here on the left, and let's just say that this is a box which is connected by a rope to the ceiling, so that this force right here is the tension in a rope. So we might write F tension, so I'm going to write a T for tension, you might say that's 1,200 newtons. And we might say that uh, this vector represents the weight of the box. So maybe um, the box is connected by a rope and somebody's pulling up on it. So we say that F gravity is 800 newtons. And again, we ask the question, is there an unbalanced force acting on this box? And because this force is greater than this force, we're going to say, yes, there is an unbalanced force. Now let's consider this situation and ask, is there an unbalanced force? And let's say this is an object that's actually falling. So we might say this top vector represents air resistance. And maybe that force is 600 newtons. And this vector down here represents the weight of the box. And so that is 800 newtons. And again, we could ask the question, is there an unbalanced force on this box? 
while gravity is pulling down with a force of 800 and air resistance upwards with a force of 600. So again, we would say, yes, there's an unbalanced force. And now let's consider this situation right here, which we have two forces. So this might be the boxes on a table. So here we would have that the weight of the box, or the force of gravity on the box, is 50 newtons. And then we would also have that the normal force, the support force of the box on the table, is also 50 newtons. And maybe this box is sliding to the right so that the force of friction is 20 newtons. And again, we're going to ask the question, is there an unbalanced force? So here you could say uh, there's no unbalanced force vertically, that these two forces balance out. But notice that in this direction, horizontally, there is an unbalanced force because you have a force of friction of 20 newtons pointing to the left and you have no force to the right. So there is an unbalanced force in this situation, but it's just horizontal. Now, really important term here. Whenever you have unbalanced forces, that means that there is something called a net force. And here's an important definition. The net force is the vector sum of all the forces. The vector sum of all the forces. So net is kind of like add up. So the net force is the vector sum of all the forces. Because it is a vector sum, that means you have to take direction into account. So let's see how that might work. Well, let's say I have a force of 8 acting to the right, and I add it to another force of 8 acting to the right, and then, as you might expect, they add up and I get a force of 16 acting to the right. But what if I have a force of 8 acting to the right, and I add it to a force of 8 pointing in the opposite direction, or negative 8, those forces would cancel, and I would have zero. Or I could have a force of four pointed to the right, and I could add it to a force of eight pointed to the right, and I would get a force of 12 pointed to the right. But what if I had a force of four pointed to the right, and I added it to a force of 10 pointed to the left. Well, I would end up with a force pointing to the left of 6. What if I had a force of 4 pointed to the right and I added it to a force of 20 pointing to the left? Then I would have a force of 16 pointed to the left. And all of these kinds of additions also apply to vertical forces as well as horizontal forces. So let's finish up with our three situations that we looked at before. So we had, first of all, this box, which had a rope pulling upwards with a force of 1,200. And the weight of the box was 800. And we asked, was there an unbalanced force? And we said, yes. And now we know that that means there's a net force. So what would the net force be here? Well, the net force would be 1,200 up plus 800 down, which would be 400 newtons up. And then we had this situation, which might have been something that was falling. So we had the force of gravity on it was 800 newtons down. And then air resistance was 600 newtons up. So we said here again we had unbalanced forces. So we can ask the question, what is the net force? So I have 800 down plus 600 up is going to give me a net force of 200 newtons down. 800 minus 600. And finally we had this situation where we had a block on a table and the force of gravity on the block was 50 newtons and the normal force, the support force of the table, was 50 newtons directed upwards so that these forces balance so there is no unbalanced force vertically 
but horizontally, we said, although the box is moving to the right, there is a frictional force of 20 newtons to the left, unopposed. So there is an unbalanced force horizontally. It's this one force all by itself. So we would say here the net force is going to be 20 newtons to the left.